trading securities and other financial instruments can involve high risk and the loss of amounts invested. Melissa Armo doing business as a stock swoosh does not provide investment advice and her classes are purely for educational purposes. Melissa Armo doing business as a stock swoosh does not assume responsibility for liability for your trading investment results. Melissa Armo doing business as a stock swoosh may or may not have holdings or positions in the securities mentioned in her classes or the materials. Okay, there's only really one good watch today, which is this. Based on the bullishness in the market, I think we just focus on this. It either works or it doesn't, simple. Matt is more of a continuation gap, I did see it. There's no reason I can find for it gapping down, although it certainly is weak. And uh, so let's just focus on this. I did put the numbers in the room um, and the market's gonna be very bullish this week, I think. <clears throat> market has been holding very, very strong, has not broken out yet. This is the week, okay? We're gonna head right to 260. It looks like it in the SPY, Amazon reports, Google reports, the casinos report. I mean, just this is one of the biggest earnings weeks this week and next week are the two biggest weeks of earnings this whole season. And so expect the market to make the final push up into the next number. Where we go from there, nobody knows. I mean, nobody knows because we could rally quite a bit. And I'm not saying we halt at 260 in the SPY, but there's just so many things, numbers out this week. I mean, it's just on and on. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> look at this. I didn't even look at the spy yet. <laughs> look how bullish that is. All right. Any questions? A little bit of housekeeping. Tried a new email service over the weekend. My assistant sent it out. I guess some of you still didn't get it. We're trying to work it out. So then he sent a second email out today. I, I, you know, we've had some, we've had problems with bounces, so I wanted to try a new email service, and I guess those some of those went to spams or bounced too. So I'm trying to figure it out, trying to find a better service. Uh, I'll just keep you informed. That's all that I can do. All right, good luck, everyone. Don't expect a small stop in this. So, well, if you, if you don't get an email, the password's the same, but literally he ended up sending two. So, yeah, you know, I, I'll have to check that, check it. I don't really have time to do it today, and so it probably won't be till tomorrow, but you're here. It's an issue. Anything with stock or, or trading in the domain name um, it is an issue. It's not specific to me. It's, it's anything with the stock market or trading in it. And obviously, if I change change my email, then people won't recognize who it's from. So I don't know. It's it's a problem. It's a problem, but I'm always here. Everybody knows. Everybody knows how to get in touch with me or Kathy in the morning. So. <clears throat> I'm trying. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Let's have a good week. I, you know, we had a good week last week. The problem is it was, it was work. So let's just see if we can have a good, easy week this week. Uh, but I honestly don't know. <laughs> so I'm prepared for anything here. And this is a $1 spread right now. So I'm not touching that until it situates itself, just so you know. <clears throat> 92.52 by 93.31 is not exactly ideal. <coughs> okay. Okay, it's got the volume. It's tightening up too. All right, let's just see here. All right. It's still going to be spready though, no matter what I think. Okay. So look at GE. Don't no one should be jumping around into anything today. It's Monday. Let that push back. Let's look at GE because this did not do anything right Friday. 
I did see where it closed then. So this, this probably falls today. GE is definitely a watch. Let's stay on top of Haas, but GE is a watch. Okay, this broke. I didn't call it. The stop would have been a monster stop, and I'm not 100% sure this even holds here. So I think, I think we can be a little patient on this, everybody. If you did that on the break, you did it on your own. It's going to be spreading no matter what. Okay, I'm still watching this, but I haven't made any official calls. Is anybody in it? If you are, make sure you have the stop in. It was almost $2. Okay, I just don't think there's any reason to be very aggressive here on this. Let me look at Matt. You know what? Let's flip over to the mat. Stop 1560. Let's do 38 by 60 mat. 38 by 60 mat for a quickie down to 15. 38 by 60 mat. I don't like the way that Haas is acting. Changing gears here a little bit. This isn't set up. I may just leave it today. I don't, I don't like the way that has is acting. Here, 41. 41 by 60. Matt. Here, Matt, if you want it. Matt, if you want it. Stop is 60. In fact, let's just double check that. Ah, 60. You got to be in it if you want it. 15, 15 and out. First target. Look at this here. We'll talk about why I switched over to this later. Although that Haas very well may set up. Matt. Woo. Do -do -ba -do. 15. <laughs> Hold on. 25. Here. Did everybody do this? You had time. 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 Here, Matt. Man, is this breaking early? Hold on. Let me look at the spy. Do, 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 do. All right. Galahad did it. Galahad's going to have a good week. Okay, let me just see here. Yeah, I really don't think 15 is crazy. It's 50 cents. From tip to toe. Three Mavericks in it? Good. In fact, one more push through low and we'll just get out of it. This is this is here. We'll go over everything then later. What happened with this? I don't really want to take my eyes too much off of this. Oh, this did break. This did. This did. We'll go over it then. Did anybody do this? You were on your own then for the entry and stuff. This is a lot easier. A lot easier. Is there any women's in it? 23 was the low in there, I think. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Let me sneeze right into the mic. Clips traders in it, good. If you didn't get it, you could still put the stop at 60. Did anyone do Haas? Thank you, Vincent. Gosh, the allergies are bad. It's part of it's a warm weather. Really warm, which I like. All right, here's the market setting up. Here's the market setting up. Here's the market coming in and holding immediately, and no one should be surprised. Market came in, held immediately at 9:35. Just very, very bullish. Did anyone do this? 
at all. I'm just wondering, just curious. It's working, it's going, looks like 90's in sight. Terrible spread. And I'm not saying that's what set me off of it, but I guess I didn't want to deal with any of that today. Here, Matt, if you're in it, low is 23. Did anyone do Haas? I'm just curious. No one did, I guess. And if you did it, you're up. Mary did Matt. Okay. Did anyone do Haas? The other one, the first one we watched. All right, big drop off there immediately. Now we have to be patient. So you could have gotten right out of this, actually. You could have gotten immediately out of it. So now we got to be patient. Gabs and Matt, I guess no one did the Haas. No one wanted to deal with the, deal with it. Okay, Matt, everybody, because, you know, again, this is just here. 23, here, da, da, da. Remember, Markin is holding, very bullish. Could have even been tighter with the stop here, but, you know, it had volume. It had volume. Here's the market. Here's the Haas. GE fell today. Man, that really did flip over then the high one million times. I did say that in the room on Friday then. And that's why you put a stop. You're not in, Matt, Gator? You scalped Haas? All right. Haas worked. I want to figure out what the exact stop was. It was close to $2 with the spread, uh, you know. Let's look and see where this bounced. So that's what happened. So this came in, bounced off of the pivot back here. Low is 1517, close enough. Again, these are areas came in, did a little boop off of that. Didn't break it yet this morning. This is nothing. I believe that it does have to be a little patient. Remember, this is not an earnings gap. Charts just lower. Continuation gap here today in the mat. Nice, good, easy compared to the Haas, which we're going to look for this week if we can. <clears throat> easy plays, which since it's earnings season and there's 300 things reporting every morning and night, it shouldn't be hard. Here, Matt. It would be better for the shorts if the market really just goes crazy this week higher. And next. You know, I don't know if that happens, but I think that it does, and it could, and I think it, that it will. Um, and it will be easier then to do the shorts if we get that. The problem was in the last few weeks, the market has, has been rising, but really, you know, small range days. Here, here, one more push through the low, Matt. Here we go. Here. Under 20, push, push, push. Got to watch that 15, 17 number. But I don't really think it's anything. 940. Man, was I on my game today? I went, Toom! went right over. Here, Matt. Ah, doo -doo -doo. Matt. Here it is. Good morning. You <gasps> Matt! That's it! Out, out, out! Do whatever you want! Fifteens in sight! Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> Alright, that's it! Do, do, do! Do whatever you want! Done. Alright, let's go look. Oh man, easy week is what my goal is today. 
here's the market red but again gonna hold somewhere who knows where not really coming in but man this looks the same as the last month in fact how many days back the last day that we actually <laughs> moved was october 5th man <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's what I'm talking about. We need to get just move. Actually, what day is this? The third. We had one movement day in here, the fifth. Okay. All right. Let's look at everything. What's everybody doing? Uh, I think this is going to go to 15. If you're still in it, I really would bar by bar it. Literally, don't let it bounce over 20. Beautiful trade. Nice trade. <laughs> Koala Bear still in half of it. Very good. 15's in sight. Just don't let it bounce back against you. Dream, dream, dream target for Matt today. If for some reason this wants to keep going under 15, could be 1450. But I'm not saying it happens in the morning. It could. This could end up being a huge trade if you hold it down to there. But actually, I think this is a beautiful trade now. And it was so easy. So easy. Is Koala Bear the only one in it? Gyro, did you do it? What were the longs? Somebody said about the pets. Let's look at the, let's see if any longs worked. What was that one huge long last week? What was the one? Oh, PayPal. Ew, look at this. This looks like a no-no. I mean, it definitely, the chart's bullish here. Mmm. PayPal, what did PayPal do? Pyro's out, 443.70, great start to the week. I concur. STX. All right, I'll look at that. Eclipse Trader's still in that. Green Neighbor's still in that. Vincent's trying to get out lower. Uh, PayPal. PayPal. PayPal should have a big week this week. PayPal should go this week. PayPal could go today. Here, does this have options? Let me look at the PayPal. This is going to go. Uh, in fact, what's Apple doing? Apple's going to wait till everything else this week reports. And here's the mat. Here's the mat. You're getting it down. Let me just look at the PayPal. Does anyone have any questions about anything that they're in right now, this second? Matt's still going, but be careful. Uh, what is today? Friday is the 27th. And then next week is the 3rd. Make your home feel true to you. Oh, sorry. It's Inspiration and artistry from around the globe. Is there any way to turn them off? The best quality and style at a great value. These advertisements that come up. Sorry about that. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> Any questions about anything at all from this morning? I was trying to look at something here on Google, but an ad came up. All right, let's go over it. I, I think this is pretty much done for the morning here, it looks like. It, did, it didn't get quite down to 15, 15, 13. Oh, there was a good exit on it. 9.45. If this doesn't roll right over here, that was the morning move. So again, you could put a hard stop at 15.20 or you could just write it down all day. It might bleed. This might be a bleeder. Did, not, did anyone not do this? 
SKX I can look at too. Sorry, I forgot. That did end up working on Friday and and I mean I saw it in time, you know. Wow, this had a big bar. Yeah, this did have a big bar then on Friday. It's funny because then I thought, I think the entry was 31.50 and the stop was 31. I was like, oh, that's, that's too big of a stop. But look, it went. It, it was worth the risk to reward, particularly if you held it. Really big bar. And this will continue higher here. I'm looking at this now. I mean, it's, it's, it is going. I see what happened here. It, this is late to, to get in this here, though, to be honest with you. All right, so again, looks like Matt's pushing back over 20. It's up to you what you want to do. Nice play in here. Flipped it over quickly. Let's look at the Haas. Now, what happened with this? This is not ideal. In fact, it looks like a piece of crap, you know, here. But, you know, I saw it. The stop would have been huge. Something set me off this, but then this bar was a confirmation. What a big bar, too. Look at that. $1.50 almost. So, you know, then it broke. Gator, I'm not sure where what you did with this. You know, you must put stops in something like this if you do. Actually, this is setting up here right now. Actually, this looks a lot better right in here right now. Into 10 o'clock, this is setting up here and looks a heck of a lot better than it did this morning. If you want to do Haas in the five minute, it would be a very similar stop to the morning stop. It wouldn't be any, wouldn't be any more. Um, this looks like it's going to go. Let me just see what the targets would be on this. If you want to do Haas in the five minute, it's setting up. And it could very well go to some crazy number like 89 or 88. I mean, that's. You know, 90 would obviously be the next number. Haas is setting up right now if you want to do it on the five minute. There it goes. This is a better entry than the than the morning one. Because now it's confirmed and stop is pretty much the same or a little bit less. So is Gator the only one that did Haas? So the advantages and disadvantages of trading with size or without size, what are they? If you don't trade with size, maybe you would have felt, you know, like it was okay to do something like this. But if you trade with size and you do something like this, you know, a stock like this really sucks. You know, $2, you know, if you take a thousand shares of it, your risk would be too grand. So here, Haas is going. Haas is going. It's going right now. Here it goes. So in this case here, and I'm not saying, you know, obviously if you risk 100 shares, you know, your stop would still be $2, but you'd only lose one if the trade would fail. 200 bucks. Quite a, quite a difference. Of course, then, you know, obviously when here, here house is going. Sunny didn't do it. Was worried about a bad fill. Well, even if you had a bad fill in this, you made money, though. Here this goes. So this was a much, much better entry here in the five minute. Did anyone do it? Anyways, um, I was making a point. Oh, when you trained with size, let's go to the mat. You know, again, here, when you, when you, uh, you know, I, and this is on the flip side. Oh, this just 